Kumusta po mga kabayan? In this video, we will discuss the latest arrival protocol in the Philippines for OFWs and non-OFWs including balikbayans, dual citizens, and foreign nationals. We tried to simplify the steps as much as possible. I will speak in both English and Filipino. Para sa mga bagay na kailangan linawin mabuti, magbibigay po tayo ng karagdagang paliwanag gamit ang wikang Filipino. Also, in this video, we will give an answer to some of the most frequently asked questions like, Do I need a swab or RT-PCR test prior boarding? So be sure to watch until the end of the video to get all the important information you need to know. Before we proceed, if you have not subscribed yet, please consider to do so, so you'd get notified when uploads are made. Please allow me to use this opportunity to thank all of you, our dear subscribers who have been with us for the past 8 months since the very first travel update that we uploaded. Especially to our channel members who are sponsoring the videos we are making for this month. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Okay, so let's begin. Step 1. Before your flight. For passengers arriving in Naia, Clark, Davao, Lawag, and Subic, OFWs and non-OFWs register in one health pass link. All passengers must register including children. Isang tao, isang rehistrasyon. Pati ang mga bata ay kailangan mag-register. Do this step at least 3 days before departure. After a successful registration, you will get a transaction number. The transaction number will also be sent through your valid email address. Be sure to save a copy of it because you have to show this upon check-in. Tatlong araw bago ang paglipad, maaari nang magrehistro sa One Health Pass. Ibig pong sabihin, example kung ang flight ninyo ay October 30, sa October 28, pwede na po kayo magregister sa One Health Pass. I-save ang makukuhang transaction number. Ipapadala din ang transaction number na ito sa valid email address na inyong ginamit. Siguruhin mayroong kopya nito dahil ito po ay hahanapin sa check-in. For passengers arriving in Cebu, you don't need the One Health Pass because you have to register in the Mactan Cebu Airport link. This is for both OFWs and non-OFWs. You can do this registration 5 days before your scheduled departure. Ibig pong sabihin kung ang flight ninyo ay October 30, so October 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, October 26, pwede na po kayong mag-register sa Mactan Cebu Airport link. Once registered, you will receive a TRN barcode or travel registration number. Okay, in summary, for those who registered in One Health Pass, at this point, you have a transaction number. For those who registered in the Mactan Cebu link, at this point, you have a TRN barcode. Step 2. Para sa mga OFWs, mag-register sa Oasis. Gagamitin ito para sa inyong free hotel accommodation sa Pilipinas. For non-OFWs, you have to book your 10 days hotel accommodation from the list of DOT accredited quarantine hotels. You have to present this during check-in. If you are fully vaccinated and are coming from a green country, you need only 7 days. And note that you have to bring either an international vaccination certificate or a vaccination certificate ver verified by the Philippine authorities. Step 3. For health and safety reasons, you have to install the Philippine Tracing app or the so-called Trace app. You have to bring a face mask. Note that in Lawag International Airport, you need a special type of mask called KN95 or N95 and the Lawag Airport Authority requires a 42-hour RT-PCR negative test result prior boarding. I repeat, this is only for Lawag. Third, you also need to bring a face shield. And we highly recommend that you bring with you your own pen or ball pen because you will be filling out a lot of forms. Step 4. One Health Pass QR Code for passengers arriving in Naia, Clark, Davao, Lawag, and Subic, on the day of your departure or within 24 hours before departure, go to the One Health Pass link again. Input your transaction number and last name, then fill out all the required fields, including the health declaration. 
Upon completion, you will be given a QR code. Save or print the QR code generated. The One Health Pass QR code will also be sent through your registered email address. Note that the airlines will not allow you to board without this QR code. Para sa mga pasahero na lalapag sa Naiya, Clark, Davao, Lawag at Subic, sa araw ng inyong pag-alis o sa loob ng 24 oras bago ang nakatakdang paglipad, pumunta sa link ng One Health Pass. I-input ang inyong transaction number at apelyido. Pagkatapos ay punan ang lahat ng kinakailangang impormasyon kasama ang health declaration. Pagkatapos itong makumpleto, makakareceive kayo ng QR code. I-save at i-print ang nakuhang QR code. Ipapadala din ang QR code sa inyong valid email address. Paunawa, hindi pahihintulutan ng mga airlines na sumakay ang mga pasaherong walang QR code. Muling paglilinaw, ang One Health Pass QR Code ay hindi kailangan sa mga lalapag ng Cebu. Step 5. Check-in. At the check-in counter, you have to present the following documents. For all passengers, OFW, non-OFW, dual citizens, balikbayans and their foreign spouses and children, besides your passport and tickets, you have to present your QR code or barcode which we discussed earlier. Now, if you can see in this table, only OFWs are not required to present a confirmed hotel booking. All other passengers, you have to have a confirmed hotel booking. Kung kayo po ay OFW, hindi ninyo kailangan mag-book ng hotel for your quarantine. Ito po ay babayaran ng OWA at ang inyong hotel assignment ay inyong malalaman pagdating na po ninyo sa Pilipinas. What if my passport is about to expire or has less than 6 months validity remaining? Kung kayo ay Filipino citizen at for good na kayo sa Pilipinas at kung kayo ay direct flight, maaari nyo pa rin magamit ang passport kahit less than 6 months or expired ng passport ninyo. Subalit, importante po ninyong malaman kung less than 6 months or expired ng inyong passport at mayroon kayong connecting flights, then maaari po kayong magkaroon ng problema sa inyong stopover or transit na bansa. Advice namin hanggat maaari kung isang taon na lang ang validity ng inyong passport, iparinyo nyo na po ito. For dual citizens and balikbayans, aside from your foreign passport, you also need your Philippine passport. Now, if you don't have your Philippine passport, you can either present your authenticated birth certificate or a certificate of reacquisition, retention or recognition, or an identification certificate as proof of you being a Filipino or a former Filipino. Note that if you don't have a valid Philippine passport, when you leave the country or when you leave the Philippines, the immigration officer might look for it and if you are unable to show it, there could be some penalties that you have to pay. So we highly recommend that you bring it with you. Now, the most frequently asked question is, do I need an RT-PCR test prior boarding? Maraming nalilito dito. Bakit? Kasi maling tao ang tinatanong. Example, sabi ni Maria kailangan ng swab or RT-PCR test. Pero sabi naman ni Ana hindi kailangan ng swab. Sino nga ba ang tama sa kanilang dalawa? Pareho po silang tama. Kasi magkaiba naman po sila ng ruta. Magkaiba ng sinakyang eroplano. Yung isa ay direct flight. Yung isa naman ay may stopover or transit. Now, please pay attention to this. To know if you need an RT-PCR test, there are four things that you need to remember. Number one, is it required by the destination country? Hinahanap ba ito ng destinasyong bansa? Number two, is it required at the airport of exit? Required ba ito para makapasok sa airport of exit? Is it required by the airlines? Required ba ito ng airlines? If you are transiting... To one or more countries, then number four question, is it required by those countries? Kung kayo ay may isa o higit pang uh, transit or stopover, required ba ito sa mga bansang inyong hihintuan? Let's give an example. And uh, please note that this is valid at the time of making this video. So we highly recommend that you always check for updates because this can change at any given time. For example, you have a direct flight from Saudi Arabia to the Philippines. Hinahanap ba ito ng Pilipinas? No. Hinahanap sa airport ng Saudi Arabia? No. 
Hinahanap ba ng airlines? No. So, for this example, everything is no. Then it means you don't need an RT-PCR test prior boarding on this flight route. Ngayon, ano pong gagawin kung biglang may naghanap ng RT-PCR test? Then ipakita po ninyo lahat ng screenshot ng mga website kung saan makikita na hindi naman talaga hinahanap ang RT-PCR test pa uwi ng Pilipinas. Ngayon, bakit yung sabi ng nakausap ninyo, hinanapan siya ng RT-PCR test? Ang tanong, saan ba siya galing at saan siya nagpunta? For this example, galing pala siya ng Pilipinas at papunta ng Saudi. Hinahanap ba ito ng Saudi Arabia government? Yes. So, dito pa lang, yes na. Kaya, kailangan nyo ng RT-PCR test. Kaya, hahanapin din ito ng inyong airlines at hindi kayo pasasakayin pag wala kayo nito dahil sila po ang mananagot kapag pinayagan kayo. Another example, sa UAE, if you are transiting from Dubai at galing kayo ng Saudi Arabia, you don't need RT-PCR test. Pero pag ang inyong transit ay Abu Dhabi, kailangan po ninyo. Ito po ay nasa website ng inyong mga airlines. Okay, ulitin po natin. The Philippine government does not require a negative pre-departure RT-PCR test. However, it is the responsibility of the travelers to check with their airlines if it is required or not. It is almost impossible to make a video about all these routes, so just leave a comment in the comment section and we will try to answer you. Example po, pakitanong na lang sa comment section sa ganitong format. Ano po ang swab requirement sa rutang Saudi Arabia, stop sa Malaysia via Saudi Airlines, then Malaysia to Manila via Malaysian Airlines? Step 6. Arrival at the airport. Maligayang pagbabalik po mga kabayan, welcome back to our motherland. Upon arrival, do not think so much about the protocol because the Philippine authorities will give you a briefing about the current protocols and steps at the time of your arrival. If it is not your first time to go home, then you already know most of the things to do like fill out arrival card, customs form, etc. The only additional thing here is that you will present your QR code. And then there is a line separating OFW and non-OFW. Pumila lang po sa tamang linya, OFW or non-OFW na linya. Proceed to the Bureau of Immigration for Arrival Clearance, then to Baggage Claim and Customs Inspection. Para sa mga OFW, mayroon kayong free OWA bus or shuttle papunta sa quarantine hotel. If you are a non-OFW, take your accredited or arranged transport service or airport taxi to the hotel. Step 7. While on quarantine. Upon arrival at the hotel, present your QR code upon check-in. In here, it is important to know about the red, green, and yellow list of the Philippines. The only difference here is that if you are fully vaccinated in a green country, then you only need to complete 7 days of quarantine. The rest, you have to complete 10 days hotel quarantine and then 4 days home or LGU quarantine. Let's discuss the yellow country because most of us will be coming from this kind of country. Day 1 is your arrival date. Present QR code upon check-in. On day 7, you will have your RT-PCR test. Present your QR code. While waiting for your swab test result, coordinate with your local government unit for any additional requirements if any. So, um... While waiting kayo sa mga swab test result ninyo, ito na po yung chance para i-contact po ninyo ang inyong lokal na pamahalaan para alamin kung ano pa ang mga additional requirements nita, nila para sa inyong pag-uwi. On day 9, you will get your test result. If the result is negative, you will get a BOQ certificate and then you can check out on day 10. Then, you can complete the 4 days quarantine at home or at an LGU facility. Note that should your RT-PCR test turn positive, the BOQ will transfer you to a designated hospital for further medical management. For more information on quarantine, testing procedures, and international vaccination certificates, please visit the Bureau of Quarantine website at https colon slash slash quarantine dot doh dot gov dot ph the other thing you need to know for red countries only filipino passport holders can board the aircraft and it is only through repatriation or special commercial flights also you need to present 42 
48 hours RT-PCR negative result. Sa mga manggagaling sa red country, allowed pa rin po kayong umuwi, subalit via repatriation or special commercial flights lamang po. Now, for those who are transiting in a red country, if you did not leave the airport or did not clear the immigration, basta hindi kayo natatakan sa immigration ng transit country, then you don't have a problem. Also, 14 days prior to your arrival to the Philippines, you must not come from or have been to any red country. Final step, step 8, going home. Para sa mga OFW, maaari kayong mag-avail ng OWA Uwi Ana Program. Ito ay ang libreng pamasahe saan man sa Luzon, Visayas o Mindanao. Para sa mga non-OFW, you have to arrange your own transport service to your final destination or you can call your relatives to pick you up. At the terminal, you will receive your final instructions from the Philippine authorities. Then finally, you will be home and depending on where you came from and if you are fully vaccinated or you not or not then you have to complete the 4 days home quarantine if applicable